The eastern whippoorwill is a medium-sized nightjar from North America. The whippoorwill is commonly heard within its range, but less often seen because of his superior camouflage. It is named onomatopoeically after its song. Description This medium-sized nightjar measures 22 a euro 27 centimeters in length, spans 45 a euro 50 centimeters across the wings and weighs 42 a euro 69 g. Further standard measurements are a wing cord of 14.7 to 16.9 cm, a tail of 10.5 to 12.8 cm, a bill of 1 to 1.4 cm and a tarsus of 1.5 to 1.8 cm. Adults have mottled plumage, the upper parts are grey, black and brown. The lower parts are grey and black. They have a very short bill and a black throat. Males have a white patch below the throat and white tips on the outer tail feathers. In the female, these parts are light brown. This bird is sometimes confused with the related Chuckwill's widow which is a similar but lower pitched and slower call. Ecology Eastern whippoorwills breed in deciduous or mixed woods across central and southeastern Canada and the eastern United States, and migrate to the southeastern United States and to eastern Mexico and Central America for the winter. These birds forage at night, catching insects in flight, and normally sleep during the day. Eastern whippoorwills nest on the ground, in shaded locations among dead leaves, and usually lay two eggs at a time. The bird will commonly remain on the nest unless almost stepped upon. The eastern whippoorwill is becoming locally rare. Several reasons for the decline are proposed, such as habitat destruction, predation by feral cats and dogs and poisoning by insecticides, but the actual causes remain elusive. Even with local populations endangered, the species as a whole is not considered globally threatened due to its large range. The whippoorwill has been split into two species. Eastern populations are now referred to as the eastern whippoorwill. The disjunct population in southwestern United States and Mexico is now referred to as the Mexican whippoorwill, Antrostomus arizoni. The two populations were split based on range, different vocalizations, different egg coloration, and DNA sequencing showing differentiation. Cultural references, due to its haunting, ethereal song, the eastern whippoorwill is the topic of numerous legends. One New England legend says the whippoorwill can sense a soul departing, and can capture it as it flees. This is used as a plot device in H.P. Lovecraft's story The Dunwich Horror. Lovecraft based this idea on information of local legends given to him by Edith Manita of North Wilbraham, Massachusetts when he visited her in 1928. This is likely related to an earlier Native American and general American folk belief that the singing of the birds is a death omen. This is also referred by Whip Poor Will, a short story by James Thurber, in which the constant nighttime singing of a whip poor will results in maddening insomnia of the protagonist Mr. Kinstry who eventually loses his mind and kills everyone in his house, including himself. The bird also features, however, in The Runaway Slave at Pilgrim's Point, a poem by the English poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning, in which the outcast speaker asks, Could the whip poor will or the cat of the glen look into my eyes and be bold? It is also frequently used as an auditory symbol of rural America, as in Washington Irving's story The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, or as a plot device. For example, William Faulkner's short story, Barn Burning, makes several mentions of whip poor wills, for example, and then he found that he had been asleep because he knew it was almost dawn, the night almost over. He could tell that from the whip poor wills. They were everywhere now among the dark trees below him, constant and inflectioned and ceaseless, so that, as the instant for giving over to the day birds drew nearer and nearer, there was no interval at all between them. The Mountain Whippoorwill is a poem written by Stephen Vincent Beanett about a fiddling contest, won by Hillbilly Jim, who refers to his fiddle as a whippoorwill and identifies the bird with the lonely and poor but vibrant life of the mountain people. American poet Robert Frost described the sound of a whip poorwill in the fourth stanza of his 1915 poem Ghost House. This is notable in Frost's use of assonance, in the whip poorwill is coming to shout slash and hush and cluck and flutter about. In the 1934 Frank Capra film It Happened One Night, before Clark Gable's character Peter Warren reveals his name to Ellie Andrews, 
he famously says to her, I am the whip poor will that cries in the night. The standard tune My Blue Heaven, written in 1924 by Walter Donaldson and George A. Whiting, and popularized by a 1928 Jean Austen recording, opens with the words, When whip poor wills call, and evening is nigh, I hurry to my blue heaven. Hank Williams's 1949 song I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry opens with the lyric, Hear that lonesome whip poor will he sounds too blue to fly. The swing classic The Birth of the Blues contains the line from a whip or ill high on a hill they took a new note slash pushed it through a horn till it was worn into a blue note. The whip or ill is also referenced in Hank Williams' J.R. song I'm Gonna Get Drunk and play Hank Williams all night long with the lyrics cause the wedding bells will never ring for me and that whip or ill ain't got no sympathy. Jim Crow's too makes a reference to this bird in his song I Got a Name Like the Whip or Will and the Babies Cry, I've Got a Song, I've Got a Song. Elton John and Bernie Taupin's 1975 song Philadelphia Freedom features a flute mimicking the call of the Eastern Whippoorwill and includes the lyrics I like living easy without family ties, till the Whippoorwill of freedom zapped me right between the eyes. Stephen Sondheim's comedic song Everybody Ought to Have a Maid, from the 1962 Broadway musical A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, includes being winsome as a Whippoorwill in a list of qualities that should be found in a maid. The popular tune That Sunday, That Summer, written by Joe Sherman and George David Weiss, and most famously recorded by Nat King Cole in 1963, opens with the words, If I had to choose just one day to last my whole life through it would surely be that Sunday. The day that I met you newborn whip or orioles were calling from the hills summer was a coming in but faster euro, whip or oil is a song from Annual's 2013 album Time Stamp. It makes a mention of the bird with the lines a cold dead night, after a wind-swept day the fire burns high. But e a euro unregistered trademark m just listening to the whip or oil's cry. Oh how it carries so fine. e a euro unregistered trademark ll bet it floats miles straight through your window. Southern rock band Blackberry Smoke released an album in 2012 named The Whip or Oil. The Whip or Will is featured in the lyrics of By a Waterfall a musical number from the 1933 film Footlight Parade, directed by Lloyd Bacon with choreography by Busby Berkeley. Randy Travis Randy Travis references the whip poor will in his song Deeper Than the Holler Deeper Than the Holler. References External links, whip poor will species account, Cornell Lab of Ornithology, whip poor will, Capramulgus vociferus, USGS Patrick's and Bird Identification Info Center.